through the process of um, a person going through what I went through, a lot of times they don't make it. It's, just, it's that bad. Doctors are calling him a walking, talking, breathing miracle. Sergeant Jeremiah Hardwell works at the Washita River Unit in Malvern. He recently had been engaged to his girlfriend. Then, just a month after that, he was in an accident that nearly killed him. Our Haley Brooks joins us now with what happened. Haley? Ashley Hardwell said he was riding an ATV with his family. He was actually sitting on the back. They weren't going fast, so he was not wearing a helmet. The driver turned, he fell off, hit his head, and went into a coma. It started with an ATV ride and ended in tragedy. It was right down here from there. I had to go straight in to get my skull removed from the surgery and, you know, getting put on my arm. Um, the, the oxygen stuff and all that good stuff. We were in ICU at UAMS. Um, at first, the doctor came in and said, you know, it is a brain injury. The only thing they could do is sit and wait. So we waited. The brain never went down. It actually continued to swell. Hardwell was knocked unconscious, had blood coming out his ears, and didn't wake up for more than a week. They come in at like 4 o'clock in the morning and said, we're going to have to take the front part of his skull out. Um, and so then we went to like a five-hour surgery, removed the skull. And the doctor, only thing he could tell me afterwards was he's sick. Um, we can't tell you he's going to make it because it's not a good chance right now. Hardwell did make it, and he woke up. But he had another issue. All his memories were gone, including his fiancée, Cindy Thompson. It was heartbreaking. It didn't scare me. It broke my heart, really. During the hospital, say, Cindy was by his side the whole time, teaching him how to eat, bathe, and learn everyday tasks. She was amazing. <laughs> That's what goes too much. He's amazing. With his new chance at life, Hardwell says he's not going to waste it. He's looking to return to work and move up in ranks. I always want to grow and I want to learn as much as I can learn. Hardwell says his next appointment is in the beginning of October, which is when he hopes to be cleared to go back to work. And of course, they also have a wedding to start planning. Back to you.